Okay, let's give this another go. Um, back at it again. Um, clear mind. Just got out of work. I fixed some of the messiest CSS I've ever seen in my life, but here we are. Oh, and I'm not even a CSS pro, but you know, better than whatever. Okay, so we were getting a bunch of undefineds, and I'm thinking it has to do with the way we're like looking at this again, the way we're handling like data dot top stories and actually storing those. So I'm going to go ahead and clear. You know, I'm hungry. Um, I have some burrito stuff. I think. Yeah, maybe half an hour, an hour until uh, the wife shows up. And then I'm going to go grab some cider with some friends. Oh, you know, um, I don't want to open up OBS. <laughs> uh, you know, let's go ahead, instead of grabbing a hundred stories, let's... Oh. Are we... How many stories are we picking up? 20. Oh, okay. Well, You know, another thing I want to do, if I haven't mentioned this, is like NPM start, and then I want to take in some params like um, dash 20, you know, or something like that, so I could actually uh, pass in how many stories I want to collect, or just like make it a little more customizable for the de uh, development experience, but whatever. Okay, so all good. The cron job will run here in just a second. I'll probably reduce that time to 15 seconds so it's easier uh, for us to debug. Okay, so I don't want to print out all these frickin' stories, man. Where am I printing these? Okay, let's uh, scroll to the top here. Refreshing stories. Okay, so refreshing stories, and then... We call get item. So we're not logging there. Oh... We're pushing, okay, well, we know that top stories actually has some top stories. That's cool. Let's uh, try that again. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some cider with a friend tonight and bitch about work. <laughs> That's not that bad. It's just, I, they just kind of push you around a lot without, I don't know. I'm not going to whine about my job. It's just, that's not good. Not good to do that. Not publicly. <laughs> All right. So, um, cool. Okay. So we grabbed a bunch of stories. Okay, you know, I'm doing like a concat. What I really need to do is like, I was hoping to use a set, so I, you know, don't screw it up. Yeah, now we're getting like more and more undefined. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this off and then see what our logs say and follow the paper trail. I don't really remember what I was doing last night. Okay, is this blank? I remember that right there. Um, updating story. Oh, so these aren't even. Um, okay, I just need to ditch that. And then undefined. Undefined, probably. Right here. Uh, because this doesn't make any freaking sense. What is this? Oh, God, I must have been out of it last night. 
I was like uh, three beers deep when I was making that video. It's probably not good, you know, but here we are. Okay. <clears throat> not that. Um, okay, how about uh, console.log collected stories showing the first index and the length. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then console.log data.top stories dot length. And then we'll see what that outputs. This is a real clown show, though. All right, so collecting stories showing the first index and the length. What I notice is we're at 40. I was hoping. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's not going to know. It's not going to know if it's a duplicate. I'm joking here. Okay, so <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> I was not thinking things through. I think I was trying to make, like take the easy way. But, you know, uh, let's go ahead and write our own little, little thing here to sort stories. So we'll say const, oh yeah. So we have stories there and then we'll say uh, const maybe, um, filtered stories equals bloop and then how do I want to do this probably just a oh you know let's use a uh, filter because that's equals can we use filter my brain's like in CSS mode. I just spent like two hours. I spent the whole day filing Jira tickets for a bunch of UI or UX fixes. And then the last couple hours staring at CSS. Um, some of the worst HTML files I've ever seen. But you know. Uh, man, I want a burrito. So. We need to filter data top stories. How do we go about comparing, ugh, this feels like a basic computer science question that I'm blanking on. How do I go about comparing two arrays with objects and seeing what's a duplicate? Like filter works really well for one array. Let's, uh, let's Google foo. I'm blanking for some reason. JavaScript. I guess it doesn't even need to be JavaScript. I just need to see the algo. Um, compare two arrays or two object arrays. Object arrays. Remove duplicates. Oh, well. Shit. Look at this. Other people have. Yeah. <laughs> literally what I'm doing. Okay. That's like what I was thinking, but I was also thinking, well, what if I find index, whatever. What if the order is differing? So like the index I and J will be the same, but A of I and B of J might be totally different objects. Oh, let's give it a go. See what happens. See what happens. That was like my original solution. Then I was like, oh, I'll use filter. Okay, how about this? For, let, believe me guys, that was definitely all my idea. Okay, i is less than data.topstories.length. 
I plus plus for let j equals zero. You know, I used to write a lot of these like 2D arrays back in the day. One of the first projects I ever worked on was um, I, I was getting into programming in general and I picked up Python and okay so it's mutating though Ray that's okay that, well, that's fine let's mutate stories uh, if stories okay here if data dot top stories I dot ID equals triple equals stories J dot ID then we need to stories dot splice um, I one Right, splice, not slice. No, slice is for strings. Anyway, what I was saying is length two. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually clever. Um, sorry, I keep bouncing back and forth. Length two. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> okay, sorry, I've never, um, maybe I didn't think of this because I don't think I've seen a for loop like this before where with these two conditions here. Interesting. Huh. So, uh, length equals data dot top stories dot length i is less than len len what no it's an assignment interesting that's very interesting Yeah, there's like no length variable here. So they're just straight up assigning it. Here, let uh, stories length equals data dot top stories dot length. And then let data length equals, oh my gosh. I want it the other way around. Dot length, and then just stories dot length. Anyway, what I was saying was <clears throat> back in the day when I was first getting into programming, um, I made a bunch of like terminal games in Python, and a lot of those consisted of 2D arrays. Um, I used to like maintain the map so I could get X and Y coordinates and kind of move in, uh, like a player character around. And I made some like Pokemon clones. I made um, like procedural generated uh, landscapes just using a bunch of ASCII art and stuff. It's, uh, it's you know, it's fun. Um, okay. But anyway, I haven't built out uh, for loops like this for a long time. Um, okay, so that's cool. And then he's altering the length of stories length. Okay, so stories length equals Oh, interesting. B dot length. So maybe data length equals stories dot length and then yeah oh j plus plus not i plus plus oh god 
Bugs galore. But yeah, I miss those kind of... I really miss game development. I worked with Unity for a long time and then gave it up because I had to go do real world programming. And I didn't have time for game dev. Or it probably did. It's just, you know, I fell out of favor with it. Or it fell out of favor with me. But... Um, you know, that's the way she goes. Okay, so... Um... We're going to console.log stories. Console.log stories. We'll see what the heck that gives us. Don't need that. Um, okay. Let's give this a go. That's woo. It's interesting. Oh, you know what I was thinking of doing for you guys? I'm sorry. Um was upping the font size. To 14. Oh, that's the that's the editor. Or that's the like interface I want. The editor font at 14. Let's throw on some ligatures too. Maybe this is a little nicer to look at. Oh, cool. Changes for both. Nice. Maybe you guys can see this a little better. <laughs> and by you guys, I mean like the one person willing to ever watch through this stuff, and it's me watching my own videos. Being frustrated at myself for not being able to solve problems that an hour later I can see clearly. Okay. Well, let's give this ago but you know I wouldn't be making the money I make today if I didn't fail as often as I do you know and trying to learn from my mistakes or not learn you know maybe you, you make the same mistakes that's fine because when it comes down to it, it's all about deliverables and value um, and at least in the professional sense, as long as you maintain, like, accordance with deadlines, then it's not too big of a deal. Oh, get oh, go oh, geez. Okay. There are stories. Um, Do I need to dot Jace on this crap? I think I freaking do. I think I freaking I think I really freaking do. God, I want a burrito. I might I might just walk away for a second to go make a burrito. Um, I used to be a cook before this, so <clears throat> that was fun, um, except it wasn't. I still have nightmares about the ticketing sounds, but now I just deal with different types of tickets. Oh, geez. So what the heck's happening here? <laughs> I just hear my laptop getting <laughs> really loud. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um So it refreshes stories, but then it doesn't get down here. So <laughs> what happened? Okay. Uh jeez. Oh. 
Um, yeah, this doesn't return JSON. This just returns the request. And the request doesn't return JSON. It returns the response. So this was probably a big problem. Um, but I don't know what's happening. Here, so let's add some more console logs. Grabbed all stories. Wee. Console logs. And then, uh, well, well we, I think we're fine there. But yeah, I used to be a cook, and I'm pretty good at cooking. Um, if I do say so myself, I'm the cook in the household. And I made some pretty bomb ass burritos. You know, I used to use my own spice mixes for those, but the little taco spice mix packet, I don't know, it's like scientifically engineered to have the right mixture of spices. Like literally it probably is. Uh, they probably spent a lot of money making sure that was exactly as they wanted it. Where me, I'm like, oh, I'll throw in a little bit of cumin, some chili powder, so, you know. I, I also think they, they've got to have, like, um, they've got to have, yeah, like, stops at refreshing stories. Oh, jeez. Okay. We need to. Maybe console log I just to make sure that thing's even running. Where is it printing all stories have been updated? Oh. They have not been updated. Oh. What was I talking about? Spice mixes? But yeah, anyway. Oh yeah, I think they have some like... Um, Cornstarch. There's got to be cornstarch. Um, and maybe just a ridiculous amount of paprika. I would think. That's where you get the infamous... Um... Oh, look at that. Stuck, stuck at index zero. Wow. Okay. Well, that explains it. So why... Why? Oh, that's weird. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, const response equals that, and then const data equals response.json. So we're going to print out response uh, console.log response dot status code uh, status code and then console dot log data dot ID and then push data bonkers Let's see what's happening um yeah it's got to have some cornstarch in it because there's like that infamous yellow or like orange um grease that comes out of those uh mixes right and it's like a big joke about white people taco night because you always get that orange grease and my theory is the residual uh the residual cornstarch in there has stuck to some of the grease along with like some of the paprika and stuff and so that typical grease from the hamburger which is you know it's grease it's like freaking lard it's uh almost transparent you know is now taken on a slightly different texture or maybe texture uh viscosity i don't know and uh a different color um in any case i think that cornstarch goes a long way to really binding everything together you throw a little bit of water in there scrape up the pan get it all you know i think the secret is cornstarch it is never fucking pardon the French, resolving this goddamn why. Why is it not resolving this? 
That is so confusing. It stops it. So like, what the heck? Okay, so that's not good. Man, I I made myself hungry. Um, yeah, we're going to silent false that. See what the heck's happening. And I think I have enough logs back here. Um, so we paste the URL, the status. It's like it's not resolving, you know? Which is really weird. And we're asynced. We're asynced. We're a waiting. We're a waiting like nobody's business, so I don't know. I'm gonna go make a burrito. You guys watch this start up. Tell me what happens. That felt as long to me as it did to you, I'm sure. Wow. Uh, I am confused. Okay, here. What the heck? Is this going to be another I fail at debugging my own website? Possibly. Because we console log I, we get item, and then nada. But we're a waiting. I don't. Are the cron jobs like overriding each other? They shouldn't be. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's... We want one minute. There we go. Okay. Let's try one minute. 
Um, just see what happens. That's really bizarre, though. I, I don't think it's supposed to... Ah, my burrito's still cold in the middle. Whatever. I'm a freaking monster, man. But you know what makes a good burrito? Cooking it all the way through. But also, um... Heating up and cooking your freaking tortillas. Uh, cook your tortillas. Also... Also, official recommendation. Official recommendation for if you nerds, if you nerds are using Mission Tortillas, you're doing it wrong. Get some, get any brand of tortilla that's not Mission. It is somewhat thinner and actually looks like a goddamn tortilla and isn't just like bread. You know what I mean? Um... God damn it! It's not the goddamn cron top. So why is that not? I am so confused. They said that. Said I was confused last night. And I I still am. Okay. This is trash. Uh. It like stops at zero and like freezes or something. It console logs the first index and then nada. God, you guys are probably watching me, like I said last night, thinking, such a dumbass. But honestly, I'm somewhat confused. And if we console.log data.topstories.length, should it be more than one. We're a waiting. I don't understand. And this was like just working, so I don't really hear. I'm just going to go ahead and do one of those. That shouldn't have any bearing on what we're doing right now, but. Am I even calling this properly? Dot log get yeah it should like immediately print this out so so it's not the timing of the cron job it's just not doing it which is really interesting I don't understand though, um, and I've got to be missing something. Whoa, what? What? Mm. I am confused. Why is that failing? Oh, Hacker News? Wow, is it failing like straight up in the... Their API's not down, right? Postman? Postman this crap. What the heck is happening, man? Wow, maybe they're finally pissed off at me. I don't know. They're um. What? What? This is a public API.
Holy crap. Should have sped out the state two hundred. Wow. What do you mean? I don't have like any stupid auth or anything, right? Oh, I'm posting. Oh god. Alright, there we go. No wonder they four oh one that. Okay, so I have my frickin' IDs, so what the heck? Alright. Uh I think it's slash Item slash ID. What? What's going on there? Is it not? Get item? Yeah, item slash ID. What the heck is happening here? Oh my god, I wish they would just, uh... Right. Is there, like, a message in here somewhere? What the heck is happening, man? Usually it's at, like, the top of the... I should not be oh dot json because their api is kind of funny wow wait so okay so still up <laughs> all right so wait what was the deal then What's going on? Well, we know the status code. What's data do? I forgot. Oh, let's put this. Uh... I know that <clears throat> I append JSON to everything. Man, this is weird. I'm not solving anything. Fucking course. All right. We'll just log out. Story. And see what that gives us. So it can't read JSON. It's like I'm not getting data back. Frickin' undefined? What do you mean undefined? Wait, what? If we're continuing, I just hit the next loop. Like, this should never be undefined. The response should always be there. Uh, okay. Of course, I'm going to watch this video late later and be like oh that's so easy why was i so confused oh. i'm gonna kick myself in the ass all right hmm. 
That's super confusing. It's like I'm missing an A-weight or something, but I built this logic, like, quite a while ago, and it's been working until literally now. Like, this is really confusing because it was just hitting... Zero, 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 zero. And then it works this time, you know? And it worked every other time. I've been doing this, you know, hours a day. And then suddenly, nope. Nada. And it's calling story before get, which is odd. Because. Okay, I need to push this cron job out then. I think I'm up here. Uh, I think I'm right here. All right. Hmm. No, no, that's right. I'm printf debugging when I have a debugger, but you know. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. This is returning undefined, <coughs> which is really confusing. Let's go ahead and hit false. Let's print out those logs. Oh, bonk. Sorry, everyone. Oh, I'm not returning now. So that explains... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, so that kind of... Well, so I broke my own code, and then I had to debug to figure out where I broke my own code. Typical. Typical. All right, well... That was kind of a waste of time, but I'm ending it here. Sorry, but, you know, I'm going to go drink some cider. So, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Or to myself later. Have a good night.